Hi guys, it's Nancy, and I got so many comments from everybody in the Stamping Enablers group on how I made the toilet card. So I thought I'd throw together a quick tutorial for you guys so you could make this humorous card for your friends and family. Um, so the story behind it is one of my coworkers, um, I guess the um, somebody was having a birthday coming up but they had to buy a new toilet. So the joke was that th for their birthday, they got a new toilet or something to that effect. So they had requested that I make a toilet card. So this is the card and you can see it looks like a toilet. And then when you open the lid, there's a special surprise in there. And there are all kinds of sentiments that you can use for this occasion. So let's show you how to do it. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the toilet part, which is pretty easy. I have a regular piece of um, cardstock here. Its measurements are five and a quarter by four. I am using a standard five and a half by four and a quarter card, and I have two oval shaped dies here. And the one in the middle is, I believe, two sizes smaller than the larger one. So again, we want to kind of move that up. We want this bottom portion to look as much like a toilet seat as we can get it. So it's going to be a little wider at the top. All right. Now the trick is we're not going to cut this all the way. We're going to leave a flat portion. So right about here, we don't want to cut any of that. So we're going to stop our cutting plate right about there. So there's a straight line going across and it doesn't cut in that area. So we're going to feed this through. Well, of course now it doesn't want to go through. There we go. So now I did not have a toilet I made my own. I'm going to move those aside. Okay, put this away now. Okay, so now you can see it's flat. So I'm going to now take my little score buddy and I'm going to line this up and I'm going to score this in two places. One right about here where the toilet lid would be. We want to score that. We want that to fold over. Okay, so we have a nice score there. And then the second one is going to be a little higher. Now what I did, I think I cut it first as I eyeballed it and cut it. I'm going to cut this straight down. Now that's a little big, so we can take our trimmer and trim that down. And we just want to make the hinges that attach to the toilet seat. Now, again, you can eyeball this and straighten it out if you want with your scissors to make your hinges. So I'm just going to curve this toilet seat up a little bit more and this side a little more. And then we're going to take our scissors and cut straight down to the inside there. Oh, I cut it off. I did it wrong. Oh, I didn't leave the gap. Okay, learn from my mistake. You're supposed to leave a gap there. Like I did here. <laughs> of course, I made it right the first time and not the time I'm putting it on video for you guys. You're supposed to cut it here, not in the middle. Anyway, you're supposed to cut there. Oopsie. Okay, how not to make a toilet seat, guys. We can glue it all back together. It'll be fine. But what you would do then is then you would pay, put the second score line up there. You would cut the excess off the top here. 
So this would all still be attached. You'd have your second score line there, as I correctly did on this one. And you cut that excess off there. And then all I did was I took a little black pen and I drew in some tiny little screws. All right. So the card base itself, and this is just a top folding one. I took what I thought would look like a bathroom floor stencil, which is this stencil here. And before I start stenciling, I made a little template. So what I did was I took this template, and I'm just going to put a little guide here. And I kind of placed it where I think I'm going to put my toilet. So if my toilet's going to go right in the middle of the card there, that's my template, and I do not want to stencil that. So that's masked off. And the reason we do that is because when we stamp the image underneath, and you could stamp the image first if you wanted to. It doesn't really matter. We're just going to mask that off. And I'm just using some post-it tape to hold it down. And I am using the Altenew Persian Blue ink. I love this color. With the Tim Holtz blending tool. And again, just blend in through the stencil. Okay, so we have our bathroom floor. That's done. Then we're going to take this off, and at this point, I would glue my toilet on there. Now, I will be able to save this because I'm just going to cut around here and straighten that out, so it'll be okay. And then at that point, I want to have an idea of where I'm going to stamp my image. The stamps that I'm using are retired, but I understand that there is another um, stamp company that carries them. I will have to look that up something very similar I'll put it in the comments for you guys um, this is from Virginia Turtle but they did retire so they no longer carry this so we have the little poo and I'm stamping this with memento tuxedo black ink because I'm gonna Copic color it and we're gonna see where we want that and then we have a little face that goes with it emoji face I guess And then once that dries, we're going to color it in with a Copic marker. And I just use like a circular motion so that it has a little bit of dimension to it. And you could go in and do a couple colors. I'm just going to do one color to make it real quick. All right. The other thing that I do is I take the Spectrum Noir glitter, Clear Glitter Sparkle Pen and I clean or fill in all that white area. This way, you know, it looks like there's water in the toilet bowl. And I know it's hard to see on camera, but it is sparkly. And I don't do it on the poo, just on the outside of the poo. And then at that point, you would take your one-piece toilet not two pieces and you would glue that all the way down and just glue the top flap of this so we could fix this like I said I can doctor this up and fix it in a minute cut those off and put the screws in there and then if you wanted to you can move the toilet seat up a little higher or down a little lower just depending where you want to put your sentiment I like to have it down lower and then I can put a small sentiment here um, there are a couple sentiments that you could use um, the one I did was holy crap you're old oh crap I forgot crap happened sorry your day was crappy I found another one from so Susie stamps I don't know if she still carries this or not um, I hope you're not offended but it says you know poo could be worse so there's some cute stamps you could make out there I know the poo emoji is a big thing out there for the teenagers right now but that is how we would make our little toilet stamp and I would just probably fix this here, cut it off, and have to play around with it. But anyway, guys, that is how you would make your toilet stamp card. And that's what it's supposed to look like. If you wanted to, you could even dirty up the edges here with some Distress Ink to make it look like a dirty toilet. Um, personal preference. And then put your sentiment inside there. All right, guys.
Sorry for the mess up, but I hope you enjoy the video and I hope you have fun making your little poo card. Have a nice day. Keep on stamping.